Hey y'all, I just wanted to show off the new technique I'm using for the upcoming spark.net versions. It's a uh, it's a new way to use Blazor, yeah. <laughs> so basically I've always I've wanted to be able to use controllers and view models with Blazor components while still having, you know, that that rich user experience. So I've kind of combined a couple techniques, and I, I think I'm onto something here. So I'm excited to show this off. So what I have here is an endpoints folder, and you've probably maybe you've seen this technique where you structure things by features. But essentially, you have features, and then with or an endpoints folder, and then within that, you have different feature folders. So for instance, to do items or to dos, and then within that, each of your controllers is a single action. So we have our to-do index, our to-do create, and our to-do store, and then you also could have a delete and update, etc. So each one of these uh, endpoints is just a controller, but limited to one method called the handle method. And then within that handle method, you can return a Blazor component with a model. And those are typed. So you know you're sending it the correct data. If we come over here to pages, you can see our index extends or inherits this page component which is a custom component I wrote and it accepts a model so you always know you're sending the right data on top of that every page component you inherit gets view data model state and HTTP context so you can test if users are authenticated you can get the model state and show form errors different things like that. So basically it has the same, almost the same functionality a Razor template has, but you get the awesome Blazor components combined with it. Instead of having to finagle with, you know, partials and Razor templates, you get full blown components. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I, I got some breakpoints set here. I want to go ahead and show how this is working. So I'll refresh my app. And as you can see, we come here to our index controller and, uh, I'm just using a static store right now, but this is where you could query your to-do items. And then we're gonna come here, we're gonna render our component while passing in our model, which is a list of to-dos. And it's gonna display our to-do items. So then we can go over here, create a to-do, and we display the create form. And uh, let's see, clean the dishes and you know, we're passing in here, I'll open up the create page. Okay, so we have our create to do's model. So we have custom input uh, components where we can pass in the model and the uh, property of that model for that input component. So if we go ahead and inspect this, you'll see our ID and titles and you know, our values are set correctly. So when I save this, we also have a custom error message component. So this is going, so we'll go ahead and, uh, this is going to test the model state just like it would in a regular MVC or Razor Pages application, but instead of uh, Razor templates, we have Blazor components. So we'll go ahead and redirect back to the to-dos, create route, and redisplay this form. But because we're preserving the model state, it shows error messages. So we can, you know, if I delete this and put something here, same thing will happen, but, you know, the other field, we're updated. And also, no full page refreshes because we're using HTMX on top of this. All right, so let's go ahead and create our to-do. Clean the dishes. Uh, um So now when we hit save, we'll go back to that to do store route. We will check our model state, it's valid. We can go ahead and save everything and then come back to the index route. And here we go, we have our to do items. One last thing, uh, because we're using Blazor components, if we're using something like HTMX to make really quick or really easy, like, you know, uh, Ajax calls or something to return. We can make quick, we can make Ajax calls and return partial 
Blazor components. So instead of returning a whole page with our layout and everything, uh, I have this partial controller here. And as you can see, here's the route. So when I click this quick add item here, it's actually going to come here. And instead of returning or rendering a pages component, we're going to render a components uh, component. <laughs> and uh, let's see, this would be the to do item list. So here's our to do item list, which our index page uses. But since we tied it up to a route, we can also handle the to do item list as its own route and return partial HTML with HTMX and plug it back into the page. So when I hit quick add item here, we're going to go to this to do's components to do item and we can add a new to do item on the fly and then only return this list here, not a full page. So we'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see, boom, updated. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. It turned out way better than I expected. So, yeah, it's basically Blazor server, but uh, using native HTML fetch requests instead of having to use WebSockets and all that jazz. So stay tuned. I'll have more.